All right. Well, welcome. Man, we got off to a, a rocky start here with our first game of the Spring League for Comp MC Capture the Wool Minecraft PvP uh, esports game. For this game, we've got Chimicum A versus Chimicum B. It's Chimicum versus Chimicum in their first real game of the season. Uh, we've been practicing together for the past month or two, and uh, these teams have been doing really well going back and forth of winning uh, matches. So they are very well matched. So this is looking to be a very exciting game. And again, this is the first official game of the Comp MC Spring League. And we're off to a start with CSD Minecraft 14 Jackson falling off the world as he's probably trying to bridge across. So they have these gaps between chunks of land where they have to build a bridge to get across. Whoa, look at the bridge building here. It's off really fast with Team Chimicum B. Chimicum B in red. They are off to a quick start with some very fast rushing. Let's see how blue is doing. Blue is Chimicum A, and there we go. Blue meets red. And, oh, nice knock off the world there by uh, Trent. Knocked Aiden off the world and somebody else just fell. And you can see some of them are gold. That means they crafted some armor really quickly and they have a, a stronger armor, which means they can probably take a few more hits in a head-to-head -head battle like this one we see here. And yes, Trent uh, took out Jackson with his sword. So while teams are rushing to get to the other side, they leave behind uh, probably two defenders to stop the opposing team from rushing in and taking their wool. Wow, so Trent is uh, taking out Jackson and uh, Deacon, 13 and 14, as he and... Oh, and he got knocked off the world there. Oh, nice defense from Chimicum B. That was Caleb also knocked off the world. Looks like Adrian, number eight, also knocked off the world. Whoa, how did he get back there so fast? Is that, that's Trent again. He was fast. Oh, and he got, uh, took out Deacon there as Deacon was trying to stop him. So it looks like he's in position to make his way into Chimicum B's wool room. Wow. A lot going on here. A lot of action right here on the red side. The Chimicum B side. Oh, there he goes. Uh-oh, he's coming in. Up oh, there's some red defending. Red defenders are trying to stop him from... Go oh, yes, and they did. Oh, there's another blue. Somebody sneaking in. Oh, that was well done there. So while they were busy taking out Trent, uh, Lime Wool was picked up by Caleb. Well done, Caleb. All right, so off to a early lead is Chimicum A, blue team. They've touched the Lime Wool. Once they go into the enemy wool room and, and take some wool, that's called a touch, and that puts them ahead. And look at Red here is like, oh, we're not letting you get out. Chimicum B has got to keep Caleb from escaping the wool room with their wool. And to keep things fair, once you get into the enemy wool room, they can't come in after you. So they have to wait for you to come out. So it looks like what Chimicum uh, A needs is somebody to distract the defenders so that Caleb can escape with the wool. Whoa, look at the defenses here. They're making it so uh, Red Team will have to work to get into this wool room here with the purple wool. So let's see, I see two defenders here. I know one rusher is already in the wool room. I don't know where the other two blues are. Oh, there's one. Who do we have here? We've got 12. There's Trent. And who's down here? That is Adrian. Yes, Adrian's number 8. Trent is number 12. All right, what's happening over here? Red has got to be keeping an eye on Caleb, or he will escape with the wool. Oh, interesting. Ah, I'm making yourself a little cave in there. I wonder if that's uh, setting a trap for Caleb as he tries to get out. So I see one, two, three, four, five. All the red members are here. 
They're putting all their team members on defense right now, which means nobody from Team Red is rushing the other wool room. Interesting strategy. Let's see how it plays out. Let me make sure everything's working on this end. All right. I want to make sure I'm actually broadcasting. I think I'm broadcasting. Would be nice because I want them to see their game. Oh, we got two reds versus a blue, and they took out Adrian. He was hiding there, but he got caught. And then there comes is that Trent. There's Trent. Oh, just knocked. Number nine, Aiden off the world, team captain for Chimicum B. Yep, Trent. Still in the game. Alright, who do we have here? Defending, we've got seven and fourteen. Fourteen is Jackson. Seven is Rosie. Oh, it looks like Caleb's trying to get out there. He's shooting some arrows at those defenders to tell them back off. All right. Who have we here? That's 14. That's Jackson making his move up against... We've got number 8, Adrian, and number 12, Trent. There goes Trent. Trent is coming in again. Ooh. Do you see Trent coming up behind you? Ooh, that could be a sneaky move. There he goes from behind. Oh, I gotta see this. Very nicely played. Snuck around. But, oh, no, now he sees you. Gotcha. All right. Good defense there. Trent got them uh, distracted enough earlier that Caleb was able to get into their wool room. But I think he's still trapped in there. And they've got him blocked. They're going to be like, nope, you ain't getting out without a fight. All right, who have we here? There's Trent again making his move. Whoa, and they've got time here since Red isn't rushing. Uh, they've got time here. There's team captain Miles. Building a wall. You just gotta slow them down enough to kill them so they don't enter your wool room. At least stop it. Oh, somebody fell there. That was Minecraft 2. That's Donovan. Okay, so there's Adrian. Yeah, I think Red is... Um, Trying to come up with how are they going to rush blue. I see a blue. Is that a blue one there? Did somebody get out? Somebody died up there. Look at all their stuff. Oh, there's another blue. Oh, looks like Adrian's getting in the war room. They've got another one. Red, you are in danger. Now eight. Adrian has the lime wool. So they've got to get out of there now. Blue is off to a great start here. <laughs> Look at that barrage of arrows. You're like, I'm gonna get you. And eating of food will get you your health back. Alright, so I think there are still two blues in the green wool room that is defended by red, otherwise known as Chimicum B. Wow, I see f at least, I see four reds here. Okay, there's one making some uh, moves towards the blue side, because blue, man, if they're not rushing, I take that, that gives you some respite. Oh, nice shot there. You just knocked somebody off the world. That was Trent, knocked off the world by Aiden. All right, there comes Aiden. I don't know if that one over there sees him. He's coming, he's coming. Oh, snuck up on Miles. There's another red there. There's another red. Oh, oh, are they here? Get in there. Are you going in? Boom, there goes. Oh, now we've got a game about to be tied. There we go. Is he in? Is he in? Grab that wool. Did you get killed? Uh-oh, he might have gotten killed. I don't see, I, I don't know if he went in. Wow, if he did, that was some good defending, Blue. Wow. I don't see the purple wool being touched, so maybe he got killed. Let's check and see. Oh, I can't tell. I waited too long. I saw some people getting killed, but I didn't know who went in. Oh, I see another one there. 
making his move. Is that is that Deacon? Come on, look at him. Is he gonna go in? Oh, oh! Wow, those defenses are holding up pretty good. They're slowing him down enough. Yep, that was Deacon stopped by Miles defending. Well, Blue, you're doing some really good defending here because uh, Red was about to tie it. All right, we're in the first 10 minutes of this match, and it is fantastic. All right, Blue is coming back. Is that, oh, oh, is that coming back with the wool? We could see our first win of the night. I'm following this one because there's Caleb. Looks like Caleb is coming in with the wool for the win for Chimicame. Chimicame is off to a lead one nothing. If they win the second match, they take the game. All right. Chimicum A has taken the first match. It's best two out of three, so Chimicum B, you're still in it. Chimicum B, you're the away team, so you get to pick the second map. So Aiden, what map do you want? Golden Drought, you got it. All right, so they chose Golden Drought for their second map, and I don't know what to do for the third. I might do something crazy for the third. As coach and uh, person in charge of the map, I can do that. But I don't know if I should, because there's a brand new map, and if we play that one, Oh boy, will that be exciting. Okay, let's put the teams together. All right, so we already got 14. He's on the wrong side. Let's move 14. 14 to red. One to blue. Team force two. To blue, Team Force 4 to red, Team Force 7 to red, Team Force 8 to blue, Team Force 8 to blue, Team Force 9 to red, Team Force 11 to blue, Team Force 12, to blue, who have we got? 1, 2, 8, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 7, I'm ready, oh my goodness, I did it. Okay, so this one is Golden Drought. Alright, I think I'm ready to start the match, I'm going to let him know. Alright guys, we're going to start the second match in 25 seconds. All right, here we go. All right, looking good. I'm ready. This is it. If, oh shoot, I forgot. Alias Blue, Jim Gamay. Ah. Alias Blue, Jim Gamay. Team Alias Red. Chip B. Alright. There we go. That looks better. A and B. We're starting. Whoa. They're moving fast. Look at blue over there is bridging and red over here bridging. Ooh, we got some red and blue coming at each other. If Chimicame, the blue team, wins this one, they will take the first game of the season. They'll be 1-0. and if Red wins this one, then we go for a third match and a tiebreaker. And whoa, I see Red making a strong, quick move before the defenders here have had a chance to build a defense. Oh my god, he's got it! Clear way through, he's in! Oh my goodness! See, I've seen this before. If you rush really fast before they've had a chance to do anything, you're in! Jackson, well played. You got them before they even started defending. 
So Jackson for Chimicum B Team Red got his team off to a early lead by touching the green wool. Man. I'm glad I saw that because I would have been like, what? What just happened? That sometimes works. You see, if you're a little slow on the defending and they rush quickly, lesson learned here. Lesson learned. Look at, well, look at them. They had their defenses up fast. All right, Red's off to a good start here. We could tie, we could see a tie here. All right, Red's defending well. Let's see if they can tie this up and then we'll go for the third match and tiebreaker. This is exciting. All right, how are we doing for time? 4.35, because I have a blue team member who um, might need to leave before 5, and she's going to have to help her team win this one if she wants to leave early. Or put them at a severe disadvantage. All right, we got a blue making their way through. We got two blue. Ooh, ooh, but look at the defenses you're up against. Can you make it? Who is that? That's Trent. Trent is off to a good start there. Going up against, it looks like, Evelyn. But then he's got some help. Whoa, he got knocked back. Is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? No, he didn't. Good defense there from Team Red. It was Aiden who got Trent. Well, somebody's screaming. What's going on? Is that somebody with the wool? It looks like... Jackson, did he get away? You gotta be kidding me. Is he coming in for the win? Let's see, Jackson coming in for the win. That was a fast win. We're going for a tiebreaker, folks. Oh, man. I don't know which match. Wow. Okay, that was some great gameplay. Whoa, man. Okay. Where are my notes? Where are my notes? Um, okay, for the tiebreaker, I choose Barricade. We're gonna do Barricade. Alright, I gotta get them to the next map. Alright, if you just watched that, you saw an amazing comeback by Team Red, Chimicum B, with a one-to-one -one tie. And I gotta keep track of all the maps we played. So we played... Golden Drought. We played Palo. Now we're playing Barricade. I gotta keep track of this stuff. Okay. And Palo was A, then B, and now we're going into a tiebreaker, and I gotta keep track of who capped those wolves. I keep forgetting everything I have to do. All right, so Minecraft one. I know, but I want to let you know when we start. Oh, and um, yeah, who who capped the wool um, in the first match for Team A? Who's me? Caleb. All right, so Caleb, and then for Team B, that was Jackson, right? All right. Because I got to report which map we played, who won, and who capped the wool. You guys are playing some exciting game here. Really exciting. They are so good. All right, seven is red. Team Force, eight is blue. Nine is red. Eleven is blue. Twelve is blue. Thirteen is red. Fourteen is red. All right, so we got one, two, eight, eleven, twelve. One, two, eight, eleven, twelve. Then we got four, seven, nine, thirteen, fourteen. All right. 
All right, folks, this is it. This is the tiebreaker for the win. I'm gonna start it in 25. Good luck to you both. You're both doing amazing. Oh man, this is anybody's game. Going into it, the tiebreaker. Oh, I forgot to change the names. Alias Red is Chimicum B. Team Alias Blue is Chimicum A. Yeah, that looks so much better. Chimicum A versus Chimicum B. Blue versus Red. Oh my goodness. And this is it. And they're off. All right. This is Chimicum uh, versus Chimicum. Team A in blue versus Team Red. Uh, team B in red. This is the third match. Best two out of three wins the game, so they're tied one to one. This is for the game. Whoever wins this one. Okay, I'll be surprised if they tie. <laughs> that would be amazing because we'd have to go into a double tiebreaker. All right, let's see what's going on here. This map, this map drives me crazy. It's oh, so much bridging. Okay, there's a short bridge. Uh oh, uh oh. Wait, this is red. All right, oh, 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 there's blue moving on to red territory. There's fighting going on already. Last match, we saw a win by early rushing before the defenders were even ready. And I don't even know how he got out. But I'm glad I saw you get out, Jackson, and followed you in for the win. I love watching uh, the win. Because otherwise, I don't feel like I'm doing my job well if I don't catch the win in action. Well, it looks like Blue is making a move with three of their uh, rushers right here. But, oh, you guys left Miles all by himself, and he met some strong defense. What are you guys doing here? All right, so while they're here, what's going on over on the other side? I don't see anything from here. Okay, so it looks like the action's here. I want to be where the action's at. So we got two blues trying to rush the red wool room, protecting the orange wool. Blue has to take the orange wool. So red is here protecting orange. Whoa, and look at their defense. Defense is really meant to slow down the rusher so you can kill them before they get into your wool room. Wait, I hear some excitement. What's happening? Is the excitement here? Or am I missing something? What's happening over here? And here's blue protecting the purple wool room against red. I don't see any red rushers. Yeah, there's no bridge. Oh, that's a long way to bridge. I wouldn't do it either. But they're coming this way. Oh, I see some red. Little fire going on there. Looks like red was stopped. Oh, look at the, now the reds are rushing. All right, Chimicum B is coming up against Team Blue. All right, there's Miles. And then we've got Jackson and Aiden. Whoa, oh, Miles is getting some help from his fellow blues with Chimicum A. It's uh, Adrian and Trent. Wow. Okay, okay, what's happening here? Oh my goodness, who's gonna win? So nervous. I want them both to do well, but you know, in a competitive match like this, there can only be one winner. Oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what have we here? Did he sneak through? Is he gonna be able to make it before Red stops him? Miles is trying to get in. He's going up. He's going up and over. Great strategy. Oh, he's going in. He's going in. <gasps> Miles has gone into the orange room. He's going to touch the orange wool. Boom. Orange wool has a touch. Putting blue in the lead for the time being. Chimicum A has the lead by touching the orange wool. All right. So let's see what red's going to do. How is red going to respond? Is Red going to focus on... Ooh, just knocked a blue off the world there. That was Donovan. Knocked off the world by Evelyn. Well done, Evie. Uh, all right. So they're... Oh, oh, looks like Miles is going up high. And Red noticed. And they're going to let him have it. That looks like... Is that Rosie? 
can't see their numbers. Looks like Deacon and Rosie down here. Deacon and Rosie letting Miles have it, but Miles is firing back. He's not just going to sit idly by. So can Blue come and help him out? Blue, this is your chance to take the win. Red, you have to get into this wool room if you want a chance. Whoa, that is a big wall. Tall. They have to build higher than that like Miles did. He built above the wall and he just jumped right in and then up the stairs. Once you get into the enemy's wool room, they can't come in after you. So it gives you a chance to armor up, regain your health, and then look for the best opportunity to get out and run. And what, I, what it looks like they're doing is they have to sneak out. They got to get by. Some of them try to fight it out. And with armor, you have a slight advantage, but not against like three or four defenders. So Red, what is your strategy to keep Miles from leaving? I think I see one person hiding there. No, that's Blue, that's Miles. Did you get out? Miles is trying to get out. Miles, you've got... Uh... He's not risking it. He's not risking it. Miles, there's nobody around. Oh my goodness, but I can't tell him that. Luckily, he's too busy playing. He can't watch the live stream. Oh, there comes Red. They're like, no, we can't let him get out. <gasps> there's another Blue. No wonder Red was coming. Trent also got orange. Oh my goodness, this is putting Blue in a really good position to win here. Can Blue pull out the rin win against Red? Because Red, Chimicum B, they've been uh, dominating our practices recently. Can they do it now? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So 8 was shot by 13. That's Adrian taken out by Deacon. Oh, I see Red making their move. Can Red tie this game up and give Blue a run for their money? Oh, I see some Blue defenders, but there's so many Red. The Red, they rushed. They rushed. And if they're rushing, did they open the door for Miles to come in for the win? Scary strategy there. Is that is that it? What's happening here? That looks like Miles. Oh my goodness, this could be it, folks. This could be it. That's 12. That's Trent. Is Trent going to win it? Trent won it. Oh my goodness. Wow. People. That was amazing. So there you have it, folks. You can't, you can't build, build, build. You can't build on the board. Okay, they have a, this is spot, like, right up here. So, that's it. Best two out of three. Chimicame pulled the first win. Chimicame, uh, Chimicam B, you're still in this. You're only down by one now, but, um, remember, next week... Next week, we're going to play, let's see, next week is week two, Tuesday. We're going to play on Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to try to get them pushed back a little later than 3.30 because they it's it's only Chimica May playing next week. B, you get a break. So B gets to practice. Uh, a gets to play Harmony A, which is good because it's a 1-0 and o team versus a 1-0 and o team. So that's going to be exciting. All right. I have one question for Chimica B. Yes. Who built the bridge from the wall room and who built the wall? That was, that was, I, I killed them. I killed them with bridge. Uh, next time we play, don't build a bridge from our wall room because it makes it, it easier for them to get to a wall room. So I just like to say, the only way I got to the wall room was not actually from that bridge. If you guys well, have that place, yeah, the wall, yeah, the wall is uh, so annoying because I had to build up and I was too late and you were building up already, so I had to build up. Well, that's good advice. All right, folks. Well, that concludes our time today. Thank you all for being here and playing a great game. That was really good. Who can hang on? Who can hang on? Uh, I can't. Uh, but I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. All right, goodbye, everybody. I can probably get on later, but I have to bring the card. I'll have to shut out and get off immediately. Bye. Alright, bye everybody. I'm gonna end the meet. Bye. Um,
glory. All right. So that's it. Where are we now? Let's see. Most everybody has left. Adrian, Aiden, Caleb, and Deacon are still here. I don't know if they want to play. Oh, nope, they're leaving. Eh, there's only three left, so I'm going to exit the game. But first, let me stop this stream. If you got to watch this, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, if you missed this and you catch it in the recording, still exciting. Chimica May uh, takes the first win of the season, and uh, they had to go to a third match to break the tie because Chimica B gave them a run for their money. All right, well, with that, this is Al Gonzalez signing off for Chimica Elementary School 6th grade Minecraft eSports. <laughs>